Hi, good morning, good evening, namaste. Welcome to the Chotish Light YouTube channel. This channel, as you know, is uh, aimed at creating better awareness of uh, Chotish or Vedic astrology through a practitioner's approach. And what do I mean by that? What, uh, what I mean by that is that we study charts we go through real life examples, try and make sense of the chart based on how the event has been in a person's life. Um, instead of just, you know, talking very high level theory and uh, giving textbook definitions. Um, having said that, um, by no means the analysis is perfect. There's always scope to learn more and uh, any positive feedback or comments from you to allow and enable a greater collective learning will always be much appreciated my name is pulak um, i have been a student and practitioner of uh, jyotish for the past uh, three to four years primarily learning from the kn rao school of uh, thinking and have studied extensively under Sri Mark Boni. So let's uh, jump straight away into today's uh, example. Um, as you might be aware that I just am curious about how people's lives have uh, shaped up and what in the charts explains certain things playing out. And I got really curious about uh, Jason Newstead. Jason, as you know, is uh, famously known as the former band member of Metallica, which is one of the most uh, influential and popular rock bands in the world. And his evolution, his life evolution in terms of planetary combinations is really interesting to notice. So just let me, um, before we deep dive into the chart, let me just give a quick uh, high level view of uh, uh, his life path so far so obviously he was born into a family uh, uh, where he got introduced to music very early in his life i would say uh, around the age of uh, nine he started playing an instrument um, interestingly he was also given responsibility to manage a family farm and the animals there very early into the age so we'll look into that um in 1986 um he auditioned to join metallica uh, and he was the last person to audition and uh, uh, he you know, the moment he auditioned, the band member, other band members knew that he was the one. And uh, that's when, you know, from 1986, that's when the whole shift and elevation in his career happened uh, as a part of Metallica. Then in 2001, uh, you know, while he was, I mean, still dabbling um in his desire to do something of his own in parallel, uh, it reached a stage where, uh, you know, he took a decision to uh, quit being a part of Metallica so that he could focus on his solo career. But then subsequently, life had something else in store for him. Uh, he had a bout of uh, um, surgeries uh, beginning 2004, and it was then during this time that he took up art as a profession. And now he's, you know, quite well acclaimed as, uh, uh, you know, an artist and a painter. And so it's an interesting combination to see, you know, how a person started with one line of artwork, which was music, and became quite well known for it. And now, you know, found uh, a new source of energy to pursue a new creative expression, which was in the form of painting. So, uh, having said that, let's just quickly see uh, the chart itself. Now, uh, as you know, that uh, in Vedic astrology or Jyotish, we follow a sidereal 
chart so this may not completely overlap with the western uh, tropical charts that you see so this is uh this is the chart of uh, jason newstead and immediately what catches your eye what catches your eye is this concentration of the three nine axis and repeatedly you would notice especially in case of artists um, actors uh, all alike there's usually a heavy influence on the third house uh, either there's a one three connection or there's a three ten connection and generally the third house prospers because the third house is all about um, uh, artistic or athletic pursuits. Um, now in his case, obviously you've got Saturn, which is the third Lord strong in its own sign. It is with the natural significator of all artistic things, Venus, and it is aspected by the Lagna Lord Mars. So, uh, just going through a sequence of events, he did manage a farm, as I said, and that was somewhere in, you know, uh, in the Rahu major period. Now, Rahu is with Mars, which is a sixth lord, and the sixth house uh, signifies pets of all kinds. And it wasn't surprising that he was managing, you know, pets at this time. Uh, oh, there's also the influence of Ketu. Right, which signifies uh, animals. Now let's just quickly jump to um, his audition, um, and that was in 1986. So the the period was Jupiter Venus, and it couldn't. I mean, it couldn't have been uh, more straightforward as far as the sub period Venus goes, because Venus is in the third house with the third lord, significator of music, art, and all that. So uh you know configured in raj yogas as well so venus had to it was eligible to bring this event let me put it this way but why jupiter you know jupiter is not uh, you can argue jupiter aspects the 10th house but there's no third uh house third lot connection and this is where I think seeing things from the Chandra Lagna becomes important because if you see things from Chandra Lagna, Jupiter becomes the tenth lord uh, conjunct the third lord's son aspecting back into the third house and uh, you know so jupiter in that sense became doubly eligible because it it aspects the tenth house from the lagna and uh, it became the tenth lord from the chandra lagna with the third lord and uh, that's how his journey into uh, metallica began the other interesting concept that you would have to take in mind is to see things from the Tasha Lagna, which is basically to make Jupiter as the ascendant. And so if you make Jupiter as the ascendant, um, uh, let me make this uh, as the ascendant. If you make Jupiter as the ascendant, then uh, uh, obviously a lot of these planets go to the 12th house. And uh, uh, this is where you know all this things with the Saturn as the 12th Lord in this 12th house very strong and this is where he did all these foreign tours uh, as a part of the Metallica uh, you know gig if I can put it like this and uh, let me just go back to the Lagna again now the transition in career happened somewhere in 2001 that was the period of Saturn Venus again and uh, obviously you know one thing you will notice is the eighth Lord Mercury is in the third house and eighth house signifies transition uh, if you take the eighth from eighth that also becomes a third house so it it the chances of some transition in at this phase in life uh, was obviously quite possible now the other thing that we need to keep in mind is just you know the categorization based on natural malefics and natural benefics and as you know that the eighth lord mercury is with venus under the influence of two natural malefics saturn and mars and if you include rahu ketu then you know all four natural malefics and so what that meant was uh 
Saturn and Venus brought about a transition uh, with regards to the third house of performing arts. And uh, interestingly, that combination repeats from the Chandra Lagna because from Chandra Lagna, uh, which you see on the right, Saturn becomes the eighth lord strong in its own sign, aspecting the tenth house. And Venus is in the nakshatra of uh, Sun, which is the tenth lord. So, you know, it was looking at these things from a multiple combination. What was evident was this eighth house theme because Saturn Mars were with Mercury as the eighth lord in the third house, and then in this case, Saturn was the eighth lord um, and aspected by Mars. Now, that career shift happened, which or rather that argument or dispute if i can put it like that happened where he had to quit metallica but then the health crisis also happened where he had a ligament tear and he had to go through multiple surgeries in the 2004 to 2006 time frame especially during 2005 when he would be running saturn mars and what would explain this you know eighth house if you just see from the birth lagna, first of all, the lagna lord Mars is debilitated in the sign of cancer. It's under the influence of all other malefics and the eighth lord of surgeries, Mercury. And that activated the Arishta. And the pattern repeats from the Chandra lagna, where the lagna lord goes to the eighth house with the eighth lord aspected by the sixth lord mars and arista yogas are yogas uh, which indicate some difficulties or challenges in a given area of a person's life uh, typically we generally use arista for health challenges but it could be for any aspect of life and this this period really activated his arista yoga uh, but then you know, this period also finally resulted in him taking up painting. And uh, Mars signifies everything with the hands, uh, along with Mercury. Uh, his venture began in Saturn Mars into painting. And the story is, uh, if I can read the story to you, the story is that uh, uh, he was... Um, uh, let me see where it is. Uh, uh, yeah. After one surgery on his right shoulder in 2006, Newstead was rehabilitating him at his Montana ranch and unable to lift his base, he started playing around with his wife's oil paints. And uh, that's how this shift in uh, from one artistic position to another happened. And Primarily, I would put it as the eighth lord with Venus uh, under the influence of uh, the sixth lord as well, all focused on the third house of performing arts, proud about this shift. Uh, at the same time, it, it has turned out to be a beneficial shift because these are configured, like I mentioned, in Raja Yoga um, configurations. And uh, that was my short takeaway on Jason Newstead. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, give your feedback, and obviously, if there are more insights from any of you, please do share that with me as well. Thank you so much and have a great day.